G'day kids, welcome to Rouseabout. I'm Rick. It's so good to see you. We haven't done bubbles for a while, but I've got some bubbles here. And you might like to do some bubble blowing later today because it's nice weather outside. I miss not having you guys around to pop the bubbles for me. And do you remember the bubble song? Bubbles pop, bubbles pop. Bubbles pop, pop, pop. Welcome to Rouseabout at Rouse Anglican Church. This is our playtime group for preschool age kids and they care as we're going to sing some songs, we're going to read some stories, we're going to have a good time and then you'll have morning tea afterwards. Let me know if you're watching, uh, either send me a text message or comment on the live stream link below so I can say hi to you in person. We always start with a hello song because we're saying hello. Can you give me a wave? Thank you for waving. I feel very special. Are you ready? Clap your hands, everyone together. Stamp your feet, stamp, 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 and turn around. Reach up high and bend down low. It's good to see you, hello. It's good to see you, hello. Clap your hands, clap, 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 everyone together. Stamp your feet, stamp, 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 and turn around. Reach up high and bend down low. We're friends of Jesus. No, that's not how it goes. <laughs> uh, it's good to see you, hello. It's good to see you. Hello. Uh, I've had some hellos coming already. So, hello, Lewis. It's great to see you. And hello, Millie. And hello, Rosie. I'm glad you could join us this morning. I'm sure some other kids will be joining in as we go. I've got my hands ready for open and shut them. And watch carefully. Am I going to do the right version? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Or am I going to do the silly version? Open, shut them, open, shut them. It's crazy. I don't even know which one I'm going to do. Are you ready? Are you watching? Sing along with me. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not pop them in. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them just like this. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, blow a great big kiss. <laughs> Got to be careful doing that these days. Was that the normal version or the silly version? What do you think? It was the silly version. Yeah, it's good to sing the silly version, isn't it? If you go down to the woods today, you better go. You sure? I'll start again. If you go down to the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down to the woods today, you better go in disguise. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain because today is the day the teddy bears have their picnic. Do you have a teddy bear? Do you have a soft toy that you take to bed? I used to have a monkey that I took to bed when I was little and we would go on all sorts of adventures because we imagined that the bed could fly. Uh, we've got hello from Carl and Niels. Good to see you, Carl and Niels. There are some soft toys in the background here. What soft toys can you see? Can you see? Hey, hi from Indy. G'day, Indy. Can you see the motorbike? That's not a soft toy, Rick. Can you see the kitten? Where's the kitten? Is the kitten over here? 
is the kitten over here. Ha, there's the grey kitten. Did you go down to the woods today? You're sure of a big surprise. No, that's not the song. That's about teddy bears. Are there any songs about kittens? Hmm. Soft kitty. Uh, what other animals can you see? What other soft toys can you see just near the kitten? There's a lamb. Hello, little lamb. Do you know any songs about lambs? What about a song about a sheep? Oh, no, there's a song about a lamb. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. There is a song about lambs. There we go. There's, there are also a couple of mice over here. There's only two of them, but if there were three, we could sing three blind mice, three blind mice. See how they run, see how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife who <gasps> cut off their tails with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life? There's three blind mice or two in this case. I hope you've got a soft toy that you like playing with. I hope you're feeling happy this morning. I'm feeling happy. And when I'm feeling happy, I like to let people know. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. There is another soft toy over here. It's Mother Duck with her little ducklings. And Mother Duck told me this morning that yesterday her little ducklings went for a walk and they disappeared for a while. She's written a song about it. Do you want to hear the song? Five, you can put your hands up to count. This is five, four, three, two, one. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks. Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. But only three little ducks came back. Just three. Three. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. But none of the five little ducks came back. So mother duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. And all of the five little ducks came back. Mother duck must have been very relieved. It's a bit worrying when your ducklings have gone. This is my head. 
these are my shoulders, down here are my knees, and there are my toes. Can you touch your heads? Can you touch your shoulders? Can you touch your knees? Can you touch your toes? If you can, you can sing the next song. Ready? Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Did you sing along with me? You can even do a silly version of this song. Instead of singing heads, shoulders, knees and toes, you say beds, boulders, bees and bows. You put a B in front of everything. Are you ready? Let's sing. Beds, boulders, bees and bows, bees and bows. <laughs> beds, boulders, bees and bows, bees and bows. And thighs and beers and bows and bows. Beds. Boulders, bees and bows, bees and bows. That's a bit crazy. I've got some stories to read to you now. The first story is called... Who Sank the Boat? Do you know who sank the boat? We have read it before, so you might be able to remember. What animals can you see in the boat? To begin with, there's a donkey and a cow. Maybe it's a horse. It's definitely a boat. Here's the farmhouse. On the flat ground between some rolling hills and there's a jetty going out into the lake and here is a boat. Here is a boat. Here is the sea. That's oh, the sea. Beside the sea, on Mr. Peffer's place, there lived a cow, a donkey, a sheep, a pig, and a little mouse. They were good friends, and one warm I'll come closer. And one warm sunny morning, for no particular reason, they decided to go for a row in the bay. Do you know who sank the boat? There are the friends walking down the jetty to the boat. And one of the animals has a green umbrella. Which animal has the green umbrella? Can you see? It's not the cow or the donkey or the sheep or the mouse. It's the pig. Probably doesn't want to get sunburned. Who sank the boat? Was it the cow? Who almost fell in when she tilted the boat and made such a din? No, it wasn't the cow who almost fell in. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the donkey who balanced her weight, who yelled, I'll get in at the bow before it's too late? The donkey's being very careful. No, it wasn't the donkey who balanced her weight. Do you know who sank the boat? It's got a bit of freeboard at the moment. Was it the pig? As fat as butter who stepped in at the side and caused a great flutter. <gasps> the donkey and the cow looked very nervous that pigs almost put the gunnel underwater. No, it wasn't the pig as fat as butter. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the sheep? who knew where to sit to level the boat so she could knit. It's pretty close to sinking already. No, it wasn't the sheep who knew where to sit. Do you know who sank the boat? Was it the little mouse 
the last to get in, the lightest of all. Could it be him? Can you see the mouse on the jetty? And the mouse jumping to get into the boat. You do know who sank the boat. Ah, oh, what a splash. Look at that. And the poor sheep's knitting is getting wet. The mouse is okay. The mouse is up on the oar. And there are all the animals walking back to the farm. The cow is dripping with water. The donkey is dripping with water. The pig is salted. It could work well. The poor sheep is dripping with water and so is her knitting. The mouse looks kind of dry and cheerful. It's one more page. And there's the farmhouse on the flat ground below the rolling hills. And you can see that the boat has been sunk. And there's an oar drifting away and the pig's green umbrella. Mr. Pfeffer is going to get a big surprise when he comes down and finds his boat has been sunk. And speaking of surprises, there are some surprising things in the next book. This book is called Blue Hat, Green Hat. It's got some animals and it's got an animal that's a little bit silly. Can you point to the different color hats? <clears throat> Blue Hat, Green Hat, Red hat. Oops! <laughs> Look at the turkey. He's put the hat on his feet. Red shirt on the elephant. Blue shirt. Yellow shirt. Oops! The turkey has put the shirt where his pants should go. It's not how you wear a shirt, Mr. Turkey. What a turkey. Yellow pants. Red pants. Green pants. Oops! Oh no! What's the turkey done with his pants? He's put them on his head. Blue coat. Oops. Turkey's done it backwards. Good mask over his face there. Red socks. Oops. <laughs> the turkey's wearing socks on his wings. Green shoes. Can you point to the green shoes? Yellow shoes. Blue shoes. Oops. Ah, oh, look, the turkey's put the shoes on his head. Do you put your shoes on your head? Oh, no, no, no. Haha, I think we're all okay. Yellow hat. Has he got the hat in the right spot? He does. Green shirt. Blue pants. Purple socks. Red shoes. Hey, the turkey's got air, all his clothes in the right spot. Oops. Ah, oh, but he's going swimming. We're going to get wet. He was meant to put his swimmers on. What a crazy turkey. Sometimes we get things wrong like the turkey. And some mistakes are just mistakes. But other times we do the wrong thing. Maybe our mum or dad tells us to do something and we don't listen. We do the wrong thing. Well, the Bible tells us that God 
teaches us how to live his way, but all too often we don't, and we live our own way. That's what the Bible calls sin. There's a song about that. It's got some bad news, and it ends with some really good news. And we can do some actions. I'll show you the actions. God is a holy God. God is a holy God. We can't be friends because of our sin. We can't be friends because of our sin. Jesus died to wash us clean. When we put our trust in him, God opens his arms and welcomes us in. God opens his arms and welcomes us in. God is a holy God. Can you sing with me? Let's sing it again. God is a holy God. Your turn. God is a holy God. We can't be friends because of our sin. We can't be friends because of our sin. Jesus died to wash us clean. When we put our trust in him, God opens his arms to welcome us in. Your turn. God opens his arms to welcome us in. God is a holy God. God is a holy God. And we sin, but because Jesus died to wash us clean, God opens his arms and welcomes us in. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful? Who will all our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every week. Us. Take it to the Lord in prayer. God is a holy God. We can't be friends because of our sin, but because Jesus died to wash us clean, God opens his arms and welcomes us in, and he loves to hear from us. He loves to hear us pray about anything and everything, especially if we're worried. I'm going to pray now. Dear God, thank you that Jesus died to wash us clean. Thank you that you open us, you open your arms to welcome us in. Thank you that we can pray to you about anything and everything, knowing that you hear us and that you care about us and that you're powerful to do things for us. Please look after us today. Amen. Uh, here at Rassel Anglican Church, uh, we want to share the good news about Jesus. We know from the Bible uh, who Jesus is and what Jesus has done for us, the great news of forgiveness through his death on the cross. And if you'd like to find out more, We'd love to share it with you. So you can either contact me directly uh, on YouTube. I'll put my uh, contact details below or contact the church or just comment on the Facebook feed. Tell me that you'd like to know more uh, and we can tell you more about Jesus. I've got another story to read though before we leave. This song is called Bears in the Night. This is a good story to read in the daytime. Uh, it can be a little bit scary to read this one at night. And read it in the data. Uh, I'm going to read. We'll do this page first. There's Mama Bear. All the bears are in bed where they should be. They're in bed for now. In bed. Ooh, we heard something at the window. I wonder what it was. 
in bed. Out of bed. Out of bed. To the window. At the window. The window. The bear shouldn't be going out the window. Out the window. Down the tree. Out the window. Down the tree. Over the wall. Over the wall. Under the bridge. Under the bridge, around the lake. Under the bridge, around the lake. Between the rocks. I'm glad that bear has a lantern. Because he's going through the woods. <gasps> it's a bit spooky. Can you point to all the bears? Out the window, down the tree, over the wall, under the bridge, around the lake, between the rocks, through, oh, where is it this way? Through the woods, up, spook, hill, get ready. <laughs> Down Spook Hill, through the woods, between the rocks, around the lake, under the bridge, over the wall, up the tree, in the window. Back in bed. Ooh. They were very brave bears to go exploring in the night. But that owl scared them, didn't it? Fortunately, they all went to sleep in the end. We've got time for one more song before we go. Uh, it's a song that Lewis, hello Lewis, Lewis has been singing at preschool. And it goes like this. Once a jolly swagman camped by a billabong under the shade of a cooler bar tree. And he sang as he watched and waited till his Billy Boyle, who'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda, who'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And he sang as he watched and waited till his Billy Boyle, who'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Down came a jumbuck to drink at the billabong. Up jumped the swagman and grabbed him with glee. Oh no, what are the rest of the words? <laughs> and he sang as he stuffed the jumbuck in his tucker bag. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And he sang as he stuffed the jumbuck in his tucker bag, you'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Up rode the squatter. He was wondering where his sheep was. Up rode the troopers. One, two, three. Whose is the jumbuck you've got in your tucker bag? You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda, you'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Whose is the jumbuck you've got in your tucker bag? You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Up jumped the swagman. Oh my goodness, this is more than embarrassing. You'll never catch me alive, said he. And he sang as he, anyway, jumped into the billabong. Oh, dear. 
while saying I even wrote it down to prompting lines, but you wouldn't uh, I really miss doing this in person. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda, who you who come a waltzing Matilda with me? And his ghost may be heard as you pass by the billabong, who come a waltzing Matilda with me? And that's a good note to end on. Yes, I, I know. Thank you for sending me through the words. I had looked it up before, and and I forgot. I've got a few a few things here that I haven't forgotten. Uh, kids, what are you going to do for the rest of the day? You might have some morning tea now, uh, and then in after morning tea you could play dress ups. I've got some different hats here. You could try putting on a big hat, and there's a song about that. Put on your big hat. Put on your big hat. We're going out today. You could put on a big hat like this. Uh, I've got a different sort of hat as well. Who might wear this hat? This is a hard hat. A workman might wear this. Put on your workman's hat. Put on your workman's hat. We're going out today. Keeps their heads safe from things that might fall on their heads. And I've got another hat. Well, I'm hoping nobody does this today. This one is a a pirate hat. Put on your pirate hat. Put on your pirate hat. We're going out today. But don't be a pirate. Maybe you're going to go outside and look for birds with binoculars. Hello? There's a bird. It's a big bird. Oh, no, it's a little bird. I had binoculars. And maybe, just maybe, you could dress up as Spider-Man. Or you could dress up as... Iron Man. That's pretty cool. Whatever you do today, kids, have fun. And stay friends with Jesus. We're going to sing the goodbye song. I'll try and forget the words. Clap your hands, everyone together. Stamp your feet and turn around. Reach up high and bend down low. Let's wave goodbye now. Let's go. Clap your hands, everyone together. Stamp your feet and turn around. Reach up high and bend down low. Let's wave goodbye now. Let's go. Let's wave goodbye now. Let's go. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good day. See you next week.